This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. We are nearly there, people. We're nearly there. Um, we are actually nearly there. We're, we're on our way down on Saturday to see Homeless Ashes. Yeah, nearly there. The, the four and a half years we've been we've been plugging away um, uh, at Mark, trying to get this film made, and and it's, we're going to see it. We're actually going to see it. But yeah, this is three six five flicks podcast. This is part three of the Homeless Ashes mini marathon. Um, we got a couple more to go after this. Tonight we have producer David Friedman, who it, we, we decided when doing this we wanted to not just get actors on, not just get director or anything like that. We also wanted to get some producers and kind of see what, because it, it's a bit of a, a different process. I mean, I know movies take a long time to get made and everything, but this crowdfunding campaign, normally you crowdfund your movie um, if you do get the money, you make it. If you don't get the money, you have to find another way to make it. But this was like one of those things where they crowdfunded each section of the movie. Um, so I, I find that extremely intriguing and extremely just exciting. And I just want to hear about it. So we got a producer on. We got David Friedman on. Absolute top, top man. A uh, c- couple of other projects that, interestingly, kind of ties into episodes that we've done previous. The likes of Lance Nielsen, um, who was on Pegasus Bridge. We had him on to talk about Pegasus Bridge with um, Mr. Mike Beckenham. The two of them came on together to talk about that. We're not 100% sure what's going on with that. It's kind of been put to the back burner a little bit because Lance is focusing on this TV pilot that he's making. Uh, please do have a look out for that. Um, check out the social media for everything on that. It's uh, Paratrooper. They are making a TV show. Um, they're making a pilot right now or trying to get this pilot made. It looks interesting as hell. So please do look out for that. And if, if there's any crowdfunding going on for that, put some money towards it, help them out. Or or even just give them a shout because it'll be it'll be great. But yeah, he, he is a um, David was a or is a producer on Pegasus Bridge, which is sort of been put back a little bit while Lance focuses on Paratrooper. But he was also on The Journey, which is a movie we've talked about before. When we had Lance on again, like he he sent it over to us, he directed it, and um, David was a part of that as well. Uh, we we quite like the journey. We love the journey, in fact, and it had Mark Zama in it and another guy who's going to be in um, Homeless Ashes, who is in Homeless Ashes. Jason Fleming's a big part of of Homeless Ashes. Was also in the journey. So it, this is like an interesting one because Homeless Ashes in a way, ties in a lot of other projects that we've been talking about, either through cast or crew, you know? Um, obviously, Mark being a big connection, we, we've talked about him before. He was he was in Tom Payton's Pandorica back in the day. Um, he, he was in The Journey for Lance, you know, Jason Fleming. Um, Richard Oakes is the DOP on... <clears throat> on Homeless Ashes. We had him on a couple of episodes to talk about his upcoming movie Hosts that he's doing with Adam Leader for Dark, Dark Fable. So yeah, this movie is like, it's a nice connection to a lot of other people that we have been speaking to. So hopefully there's going to be a fair few of them at the at the screening when we go and see them. It'd be nice to see Lance. It'd be nice. Paul Knight, I'm sure, might may be there because him and Richard have this connection through 24 Little Hours. It'd be good to see Paul Knight and his wife Diane. So I'm really looking forward to going down there. And yeah, we're going to be seeing a tremendous movie, but we're also going to be meeting a lot of people that we've been involved with in the past. So it's nice. It's great. It's great. So we, we had Dean on in the first episode, Dean Maskell. He was awesome. Uh, told us about a, a little movie that he did called Knobs. I, when I saw that on his IMDb, I had to ask him about Knobs. 
Uh, last night we had Hector Bateman on, the, the young young man in the, the movie, he plays young Frankie, Hector Bateman Harden. So yeah, we had him on, absolutely, absolutely fantastic, great to speak to. And of course, nobody can stop raving about Hector, everybody's raving about him, he is, he is going to be a star. He's a star right now, but he's going to be a bigger star. And uh, so tonight we got David Friedman on to talk about like the production side of things, like how it went with the the different shooting, shooting the different blocks, and what his job entailed, basically keeping everyone happy, and um, what a what a producer does on the movie, and where next, what 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 happens next, because don't forget. There is still an Indiegogo campaign going on right now. Mark is currently running another Indiegogo campaign trying to make funds for the next stage, which is once the movie is done and once the movie starts getting seen, they need to send it to the festivals. You need to send it everywhere. Everybody needs to see this movie. We need to get eyes on this movie. And then you've got distribution deals to work out, which... I uh, hear there's there's a, there's a few rumblings, which is awesome, awesome. But you gotta you've got to work on all that stuff as well. So if you can give anything to this movie, please do get yourself to Indiegogo. Type in Homeless Ashes the movie. You will find this movie. It's everywhere. Mark, if if you go on the Facebook on the Twitter, Mark has been like just amazing at the the pimping of the movie of the Indiegogo. So you'll find it there. Go. If you can give a pound, if you can give two pound, awesome. If you can ten pound, even better. If we can make sure this movie makes it to the masses, please do, because it's very, very important. So yeah, um, three six five flicks podcast. Like I keep forgetting to do this bit. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Stitcher, on Libsyn, on any any podcasting app that you've got that you listen to with your ears. You'll find us there. If it's any good, we're on it. Um, if it's if it's bad, we're probably on it as well. Uh, our last episode, actually, like our last proper episode with myself and Chris, three hours and thirty four minutes. That is insane. Who's going to listen to that? Hopefully you. Um, please, on all those things, there are ways to rate and review the show. Please do that. Um, give us a five star review. Leave us a comment if you if you want to leave us a nasty comment, but give us a five star review. Amazing. If you want to leave us a, a good comment, but give us a one star review, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want the stars. Give me the five stars. That's all I want. It helps people find us, and it means that we can then push more projects like Homeless Ashes. There are a lot of indie projects out there that we see and we want to help promote. So give us give us the platform. Keep keep people finding us. Keep finding it, who we are. We're gonna keep doing it anyway. But keep find, let people know who we are. Please, yeah. Um, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. We're on all those things. Uh, Three six five flicks pod. You will find us. Just follow, like, share, whatever. Comment. We'll comment back. We like to try and interact with as many people as possible. Networks. We're on a lot of networks. So we're on the Tangible Network. We're on the Danger Entertainment Network. We're on our British home, Nerdly, which we love. Phil over at Nerdly. Often forget to mention Nerdly, but we love Nerdly. It's amazing. Um, Geeks Worldwide, We Be Geeks, Geeky Antics Network Global. Sometimes we you will find us posting up on there. Uh, yeah, so we're everywhere. We're just, yeah, you can find us. We're all over the place. Go have a look. This episode, though, is David Freeman, um, producer of the movie Homeless Ashes. I look forward to meeting him on Saturday. I look forward to meeting everybody on Saturday. This is going to be an absolute blast. He tells us about an extremely interesting documentary project that he's working on, and I think you should all check it out, but I'm going to let him tell us about it. So, yeah, David Friedman. Full, then perhaps a journey home is exactly what you should be doing. <coughs> <coughs> You're lucky enough to have a home to go to. So, 
we are coming down to see Homeless Ashes with you guys next week. May the 4th be with yeah, you, yes. Exactly, Star Wars Day. I, I couldn't be happier. I, I was just <laughs> I, was, I was just so, Sean Hector, my uh, Darth oh, Vader. Oh, cool. David Prowse. Is that some David, David Prowse? Yeah. Not quite the man I was hoping to meet, but he was still awesome. <laughs> yeah. But, but, I think he's actually in a wheelchair these days, sadly. He is, yeah. He's also a bit of a grumpy mm. man. <laughs> Uh, no, I have heard that actually. I yeah, have heard that. We, uh, um, we first question we asked, we were like, "So working on Star Wars? How amazing was that?" And he said, "Oh, don't ask me about Star Wars." And me, me and my co- <laughs> what else are you going to ask him about? <laughs> me, um, me and my co-host Chris were kind of stood there like, "Oh, so." But yes, so this episode of the I'm calling it the Homeless Ashes Mini Marathon because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uploading these episodes, hopefully one a night up until the night we go down to see the movie in London, which is awesome. But tonight, we have got Mr. David Friedman, who is a producer on the movie Homeless Ashes. How are you doing tonight, David? I'm doing great, thanks, Kevin. It's It's nice to be here. It's great to have you on, because, I mean, as I was saying to you in the preamble and everything, um, it's... I like to try and get a bit of a variation, and, and this production, this production has been like four and a half years, uh, three, yep. three or four years of making and indie gogos and whatnot. So this is a very unique project, and I'm I'm glad it's finally coming out. Well, a, lo- a lot of actually a lot of movies do take years to get made, yeah. um, and this one's no different. I mean, um, it's a real passion project for Mark. Uh, and it, yeah, he's been working on it about over four years. Um, I've been involved for probably only half that time. <laughs> um but it's been an incredible experience um it's it's so it's an interesting project i mean the script the script straight away was amazing when i read it i was blown away uh, by george wilcox um and yeah it it deals with some really powerful issues some really important issues domestic violence mm. homelessness um and mark just so wanted to get it made and he's He's, treme- he's a tremendous actor, tremendous director, and he's a great producer himself. I mean, he's done he's done wonders working with and getting on board the various exec producers we've had to help us raise the money to do the project. Um, yeah, and he's just he's worked so hard. So, well done, well done, Mark. First off. <laughs> so, before we get into homeless ashes, because we will talk about that in a, in a little moment, I like to try and let people know who you yourself are. Try and promote mm-hmm. yourself a little bit. Um, so. You're a producer. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you've got many, many credits on your IMDb there, like in short movies and feature length. And it's, I just want to let the listeners get a gr- grasp of, of who you are and how you got into this industry and, and why producing. Um, well, I, st- I mean, I, um, I studied uh, film at uni, mm-hmm. which was a, a few years ago. And um, I did some other stuff for a few years, but then I got back into it um, just through friends who were, who were working on projects. And um, I, mean, I really started off as an assistant director, and I still work as assistant director. Mm. And I've gradually been doing more more producing as well. Um, I've done quite a few shorts. Um, I've done a few other other little things like music videos and commercials. And I've now done um, I think four four low budget features, nice. um, uh, various various kinds of movies. Um, yeah, and I met Mark um, on a, on a previous feature that he did called The Journey by uh, another indie director called uh, Lance Nielsen. Yeah, that was a few years ago. We, we, we had the, we've had Lance on the show a while back. Oh, cool. Um, he came on to talk about Pegasus when that was um, in sort of uh, pre-development kind of thing. For yeah. Stages and, that. and we've spoken about the TV show he's working on. So we've seen The Journey. The Journey's great. It's, it's good to hear you were on that as well. We got a chance to see that a while back. Yeah, that's that's a that's a great, really good movie. Um, I'm good friends with Lance, actually. Yeah, so I met um, I met Mark on that, and then um, when I found out he was he was doing this, uh, we had a chat, and then um, I came on board for Homeless Ashes. Um, yeah, so was, uh, so was, I've been producing it along with uh, James Fuller, uh, and um, um, uh, uh, Craig uh, is on it as well, um, one of the other producers. Um, so there's yeah, there's four of us as a team working on it. Um, and it's just been tremendous fun. Um, it's it's a I mean it's a it's a dra- it's an indie drama movie, so um, it's a quite it's quite a serious subject, but it it's actually very entertaining as well. The performances um, are, are wonderful. We've got a really good cast um, who really bring it alive. Um, so it's not it's not a depressing movie. 
um it's actually it's actually rather wonderful um yeah i can't wait for people to see it to be honest this this is one of the things that um every time i look at the imdb or every time i saw behind the scenes um shots from mark and mark was kind of letting us know who was coming on board the cast of this movie from from your bit parts to your main parts is phenomenal like how I mean, how are you guys gone about getting some of these guys on board, or has it just been an easy sell, or is it the script well, speaks for itself? I, I can't take, I can't really take any credit for the casting. Um, that's pretty much all Mark because he's a, he's already an actor, yeah. so he's got loads of existing contacts, um, and he's just, he just whenever he speaks to someone about the project, you can't not be impressed, and he's just managed to to wrangle all these amazing actors to come on board. Um, Lou Temple, who. Uh, is, a, is a US actor, I think he's based in LA, and he's been in uh, uh, quite a few movies in, in the States and the TV, he was on The Walking Dead for um, for one season, he was really good in that actually. He was. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he's amazing, We've, we flew him over from the States, um, uh, Maria Howell, who's a, who's a US uh, actress, we flew her over as well, she's been in, in, in quite a few things, um, and, and Hector was such a find, I know Mark um, cast for the role of young Frank, so uh, Mark plays a character called Frankie, yeah. and the movie starts with him as a young boy, um, and he's played by Hector Bateman Harden, and who who is just amazing. He's I think he's really going to be a star. He's such a great little actor. I, I literally just before we we made the call to to speak, I just got off from speaking to Hector, and that kid impressed the hell out of me just in an interview. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just sitting there like. Man, like for for such a young man, he's he's old beyond his years. It's just a great. Yeah. He's um, uh, he's just been in Sherlock Holmes. Yes, and um, I think there's a TV series coming out soon of Four Weddings. Mm-hmm. I believe he's going to be in that as well. So he's he's definitely going places. But he's 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 wonderful to work with. And also a big Star Wars fan, so that helps. Oh, that's all. Yeah, <laughs> who's, who's not? I mean, so so for people who aren't. 100% clued up on, on sort of um, the industry side of things. What does a producer do on a movie? Um, the producer does... A, it's, it's all the, all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So it's, um, it's, all the, it's all the organisational side. It's the kind of the... Uh, negotiating a lot of deals and um, contracts. Um, a lot of boring stuff. <laughs> um, but I mean, I don't find it boring personally. It's oh, um, yeah. So it's 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 more about all the behind the scenes stuff and making sure everything happens uh, everything happens correctly. That we you know we have contracts in place, um, and it's you know making sure that we um, have the have the basically the movie can be made for, for the right budget that we have, um, and making sure overseeing all, all the production as well as the post production, like the editing and all that stuff, and make sure it all comes together. Um, Keep keeping the actors happy is is important as well. So so a bag full of chocolates. At, yeah, pretty much at all um, times. At all times. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty busy, and um, I as I say also um, I'm also an assistant director, so I'm at, I actually work on set with Mark, um, um, running running the everyday productions, and when we're filming, I'll be with him uh, by our director of photography, Richard Oakes. Uh, who's a very another very uh, talented guy? Um, yes, yeah, so I've seen. Uh, you know, I'm I'm there every day on the shoot. I've been there every day on the shoot, and I'm also, you know, working away, making phone calls and sending emails uh, before and after the production as well. So, um, yeah, it's a whole a whole a whole load of different things, really. On the, on the budget side of things, um, the this movie has been been crowdfunded in blocks. Um, yes, we we've been basically following Mark and Homeless Ashes pretty much as long as the podcast has been a thing like we i think we started about four and a half to five years ago not long after that we saw mark in tom payton's movie pandorica and cool we just it's a good movie it's a great movie uh, we we just kind of like we saw mark and we were like super impressed with what mark did in the film as well so that's when we started talking to mark and then we found out about homeless ashes and it was like right okay uh, this this is really massively interesting the thing that always interested me and probably frustrated the life out of you guys was the the Indiegogo campaigns and block for block for block for block. Like, how does that work for for budget wise and stuff? Um, well, obviously, obviously, the, the, there's a lot of indie filmmakers out there, yeah. and there's a lot of great ideas out there, a lot of great scripts. 
but in order to get something made you need you need to fund it right it, which is very difficult finding the money um and yeah it's um uh, again most of the credit goes to mark finding um working hard on the campaigns and we've been able, managed to find uh, some really wonderful exec producers who have loved the project and have come on board um with money and also with time to help promoting it on social media so um there's a whole team of people doing some really great work on on twitter and and facebook and stuff like that just to get exposure for the for the various campaigns we've had um yeah uh, we sort of I mean with this this movie's um it's raised more money i mean it's raised something like a hundred grand to to fund it all through crowdfunding through various campaigns which is pretty amazing I was going to uh, say, like for for people out there listening who um, aren't fully clued up on crowdfunding or whatnot, that is an amazing feat. It's an amazing feat. You can't take anything away from that. I've seen plenty of movies that I've went to back on Indiegogo or Kickstarter or something like that, and they've just never met their target, and it's it's just never yeah. happened, you know. But through the relentlessness of you guys and and Mark as well, Mark has been bang on with it. He's made an amazing amount of money to get this movie made, and. I'm super impressed and can't wait to see what you've got. I mean, we're impressed ourselves, um, not not just with the fact that we've been able to raise that amount, uh, mm. which has obviously helped with the fund the project and bring it up to a level we we really wanted to. Um, but with the with the finished product, I mean, the film pretty much is finished now. It's in the final stages of post production, but um, I've seen I've seen a rough cut, and it's it's I can't wait for people to see it. It's looking really good and it's all really come together. Um, yeah, every, I mean, it looks fantastic. Richard Oakes, our uh, cinematographer, has done an incredible job. And this, the, the acting, the performances are, are all fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy with, with, with the way the film has come out. One of the, one of the things I've absolutely loved about talking to, to some of you guys, like I've spoken to other guys that are involved, not on the podcast, and like, the, the passion and enthusiasm from every single one of you is just it's amazing like because th- this film I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything like the, the the issues you're dealing with it's not an easy sell when you talk about it on paper like you know the, the domestic abuse and the homelessness but you guys have driven this so far forward that it's hard to ignore how important it's going to be yeah I, I hope so I mean as I say, when I first read the script, um, I was really impressed. And, and just talking to Mark, he he's such a believer in the project um, that that really comes across the excitement when you talk to him. Um, uh, yeah, so it, it's a it's it's really it's quite it was quite a powerful story. It's about a young kid who um, uh, experiences a you know. A, a, there's domestic violence in the home yeah. and he runs away and he, and he has to grow up on the streets. Um, so it's quite a difficult subject, but it is a really wonderful story. Um, you know, what, what happens to him? I'm not going to give anything away, but no, no. Um, yeah. So I was really drawn to the, to the, to the, to the story. And as soon as I read the script, I just said to Mark, I'd, I'd you know, love to work on this with you. And, um, and it's, it's just been a roller coaster, really. And, we had so many wonderful people who've come on board and helped us with time and money to get this made to all really believe in the project. Um, yeah. And I just can't wait for people to see it now. It's, it, it really is quite special. It's, it's looking wonderful. And as I say, the, I, the cast have been great. Um, some really great performances in this film. So, so on that, the, um, the time and the time you've put into the, the movie, you say you've been there most days on set or every day on set since you've been a part of it. Is there any one, without any spoilers or anything, but is there any like one scene or one moment that you've, you just you were stood there watching it and you were like, that's it, like that we've got it, you know that moment. There's um, there's been yeah, there've been quite there've been a few emotional moments actually. I mean, one that comes to mind is um, there's a scene which is a, a flashback to um, um. To, in a, to, a, to a, essentially, it's a crack house. It's a it's a, a, a drugs den where some people are living uh, who are homeless, yeah. and um, we see Frankie as a as a young boy uh, involved in it, and it's quite a it's a really emotional scene, and um, it's just um, it's been filmed so well. I mean, thanks to, thanks to Richard Oakes and to Mark, um, they've just and again we just you, just, you know with uh, with Hector, 
really incredible performances from everyone really well directed and it it's a really emotional scene and really powerful scene um yes i can't wait for people to see that um but you just yeah just at the time i was just thinking wow this is this is special yeah yeah so there's, I, th- I feel like there's i mean we we've been on a couple of sets um for for some movies being filmed and things and i don't really want to say too much about one of the ones that we we're on but we got to witness like we saw what i would consider to be just an amazing piece of acting and i kind of like it was a low budget independent film and i'm thinking wow you have got something special so i was wondering if you know there was one particular but i'm gonna have to watch out for that scene now cool <laughs> i mean i i can't wait to see the movie you've seen bits and pieces um how do you how do you think people are gonna gonna take to it when they see it um it's always difficult to say i mean i hope they'll be impressed obviously um i, I really hope it's gonna gonna touch them pe- touch people in an emotional way um it has for me i mean as i say you're just you're really drawn into the movie um some I, I i really i can't i can't talk enough about how impressed i've been by all the actors we've had by the yeah. cast and they really bring it alive uh, and bring the story alive and i really hope people are going to come out of this movie um and feel feel sh- a little bit shocked but come away feeling like they've had an amazing experience and want to you know want to help homeless people and have a better understanding of the reasons why people become homeless. Mm. Um, and just, I mean, also, you know, have a, want to help more in terms of indie film, because very difficult to get movies like this made. Um, it's not an easy subject and, and getting the money together to make it is, is not easy. So um, I just, you know, it'd be great for people to come out of it and, and uh, appreciate the, the subject of homelessness a bit more and have a bit more of an understanding of it and go out there and help indie filmmakers a bit more because, you know, they need help. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better, really. It's it's one of those things that people are very... Um, I mean, my, myself included, to be honest, because I live in a very small town just north of the wall. And, um, you know, I'm pretty ignorant to the whole the, the homeless situation. Like, I don't see it that much. I don't really see it at all until I sort of come down to your big cities and everything. So people do need to... It needs to be addressed and... I love the fact that Mark has been so gung ho with this movie and, and passionate with this movie because he wants people to see it, and and I, I just can't wait to see this film. To be honest with you, it's and you you, you mentioned before about Richard Oakes being the DOP. We spoke to Richard um, a couple of months back, a couple of weeks back, about his new movie that he's working on, and just like knowing some of the things he's done, he's got such a wonderful eye, and that's like I know that. The subject matter and the story is going to be dealt with beautifully behind his eye as well. Just, I, I can't wait to see what he's done with it as well. As yeah, that. he's great. I've known Rich a little while, and I'm always impressed with his work. Um, and he's done, he's done, as I said, a really amazing job on this. The film looks looks great. It lo- it's looking really good, and um, I can't, I just can't wait for people to see it. Really, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it won't. It's um, it, you probably. I mean, it's going to play at some festivals now, starting from probably around the autumn to to early next year, and then it should be um, it should be available for public consumption at some point, maybe later next year. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're working away now on uh, distribution, but um, yeah. So first of all, it'll run in some festivals. So keep an eye out for, if you've got any film festivals near you, because it may be playing in the next few months. Well, we're we're going to be keeping an eye on on anything that it does, and we're going to be posting it everywhere because. We couldn't be any more behind this. We we've had a few movies that we've got behind on the podcast, and this is definitely one of them. Just Mark, as you say, when Mark speaks to people, it's hard not to get excited. He completely charmed us the first time we spoke to him about it, and it was like, yeah, I, I, you know. And I only wanted to speak to him because he was in the bill once. That that was my main <laughs> thing. <laughs> but no, like, it's gonna be a fantastic movie. It looks great. We're coming down to see it. Um, but this is a production that's been going on for a while. Do you have anything else that you're working on that you can maybe let us know, or anything coming up you're excited about? Or yeah, I've just um, I've done another uh, another project which is near completion, which is a, a documentary feature actually, oh. um, and it's called Under the Radar, 
Um, and it's a, a documentary about one of the actors who was in Time Bandits, one of the, one of the little guys oh. uh, named Mike Edmonds. And uh, he's had a wonderful career. He's getting on now. He's been in his 70s, I believe. But he was in the Star Wars movies, in the Harry Potter movies. And um, we've got some uh, really wonderful um, moments interviewing Mike and some of the people he's worked with. So we've got some interviews with Terry Gilliam, with Michael Palin, with Colin Firth. Um, really, really, really fantastic to get those people on board. Um, and a, yeah, it's a really fun little documentary. Um, and it's got some wonderful little Python-esque animations in it as well. So um, that's been loads of fun. That should be really entertaining. And I, I like Homer Sashes. That's um, almost finished. And that should be out next year at some point uh, under the radar. So that's, that's the other thing I'm working on at the minute. That sounds great. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep, keep an eye on that and we'll start pushing that as well. Brilliant. That sounds fantastic. Uh, you see, you kind of had me at Terry Gilliam. <laughs> yeah, he's great. I'm at, yeah, it's, it's really nice to meet him and Michael Palin. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're wonderful guys. Yeah, man. So um, we're going to start wrapping up there. Um, we've not got uh, a great deal else. We just kind of we want people to see Homeless Ashes, and you you've been absolutely gung ho on letting people know, and and we want just more and more. And when it comes out, the eyes are going to be on it. But is there any like anything you would like to say to our listeners, like as to why they should see the movie or just get get out to see it, basically? Um, what I say is, I mean. No matter what kind of films you're into, if you're only, you know, whether you're into more into like genre films like your horrors or, or action, or, or if you are into like art house movies, um, there really is there really is something for everyone in this movie, and it's, it it generally is really entertaining. Don't be don't be put off by thinking it might be a bit depressing. Um, mm. I mean, there are p- quite powerful scenes in it, but it really is a wonderful, entertaining movie. People aren't going to be bored. Um, you're going to come away feeling exhilarated by this film um so yeah please see seek it out check it out um it's a great movie awesome man awesome and and like i say everything we see we'll be pushing it we can't wait to come down and see the movie we're, we're really excited to to meet everyone down there as well because like, like like we've mentioned a couple of times the the cast list on this film the people involved in this film like b- both in front of and behind, we we know quite a few of the people who've been involved in this as well. We've had them on as guests before, and it's it's just great to we're going to come down in this passion project that Mark Z- Mark Zammett's been kind of spearheading has got so many people involved that we already know and have never met. So it's great to come down and, and see everyone, especially for this movie. We we said straight away when Mark sent us the the invite to come down and see it, we were like. Dude, like of all the movies we've we've talked about on the podcast, all the indie mo- features that we've talked about, this is the one we we absolutely have to go and see. Well, I can't. I mean, yeah, we, we, so we're having our uh, inaugural screening, a casting crew screening yeah. at BAFTA in May. Um, yeah, it's going to be special. It's going to be first of all, it's going to be nice to see everyone again that I've worked with over the last couple of years, um, and just to get everyone to see the movie because yeah. um, very few people have seen more than you know the odd the odd scene or trailer yet so to get um a whole cinema full of people to see it and to see their reactions i can't wait um and I'm, i look forward to seeing you there kevin it's going to be good and i know you say there uh, that it is a light um exhilarating en- entertainment movie entertaining movie but do you think we might get a few teary eyes in there uh, I, i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure as i say it's yeah it's it's quite emotional at yeah. times it, it's it's a powerful movie um but i think yeah i think people will go through the hopefully they'll go through the whole roller coaster of emotions watching it um yeah I, as i say i can't wait for people to see it it's a great movie mark's done an incredible job sounds awesome man sounds awesome so we'll uh, we'll we'll start wrapping up there and if we just want to let people know where they can find your work or where they can find you on, on facebook and twitter and everything just pimp yourself a little bit and then uh, and then we'll wrap it up yeah, if they want to check out uh, my website, I've got a website. Uh, it's newindiefilm.com, or they can hunt me out. I'm on all, all over social media: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Awesome. And before I go, I uh, I have I have Lance on Facebook. Was was it yourself that was uh, playing little uh, army soldiers with them last night? <laughs> yeah, 
Mark's uh, sorry, uh, Lance is really into his uh, to his war gaming and, and just gaming in general, <laughs> and I I love a bit of that as well. So uh, yeah, I was uh, we were playing some um, little uh, like a uh, World War Two uh, World War Two game we we set up. Um, <laughs> Over Easter, you know, a little break over Easter. It's got to be done, um, man. It's got to be done. Yeah, good fun. It was good fun. <laughs> I, I just saw it last night. I was like, I'm sure that's the guy I'm talking to tomorrow night. That's awesome. <laughs> that's how you know you're up for a good interview when you when you've got a guy who's uh, into his little war games as well. Oh, I can't. Yeah, love it. I love I love that stuff. Awesome, man. So, uh, actually, are you going to be involved in this TV show that yeah, that Lance isn't doing? Um, paratrooper. I, yeah. I was involved with Pegasus, mm-hmm. um, which um, we still don't know exactly what's happening with that yet. But for, for the moment, Lance is focusing on Paratrooper. Yeah. Uh, I'm not involved at present, um, but who knows what happens with it? It's, at the moment, it's it's at the pilot stage. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed. Um, the pilot goes really well, um, and then it's hopefully there'll be a full series. Of, you know. I may be involved at some point. Um, it looks pretty exciting what he's doing over there. With yeah, the tra- if people haven't seen the trailer, check it out. Paratrooper, yeah. original drama series. There's a great tra- trailer doing the rounds. It's on YouTube. It's on everywhere. Yeah, I'm wishing them all the best on that one because uh, the trailer looks great and I like I like everything I hear about it. But for now, Homer's Ashes, we're going to be coming down to see it. Can't wait to meet you when we're down there. I'm sure there'll be a pint at the bar because that's what me and Chris do the most of. We just like Absolutely. <laughs> and... Uh, Thank you very much for coming on. This has been great. Thanks, Kevin. It's been really great to be on tonight. It's just nice to get, like, I, I like getting the actors on, I like getting the directors on, but it's also nice to get the guys behind the scenes that are doing pretty much the bulk of the work, you have to agree. Oh, no, come on. It, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a real, filmmaking is a real team effort. Of course. And everyone who works, you know, whether it's the cast, the crew, everybody's so important. You know, everyone has to come together and do their bit, but... Great, man. Great. Thank you so much for coming on. Hey, guys. This is Venice, and I've got a message from a friend of mine about my favorite podcast. It's your boy, Flavor of Flav and Full Effect. Check this out, everybody. I want y'all to go check out TJ. What's good, everybody? TJ Johnson here from Voice from the Underground. I am the most handsome. Big ass. And I'm smoking my cigar, of course. You know what I'm saying? The judge. You pick me up in an Uber and a PT Cruiser, I'm calling Lyft. <laughs> they be fighting the power talking about social issues politics you know what i'm saying and we're not even that good right we're terrible terrible <laughs> tan just all over the place and not only that but they be keeping the fun with the sports music comics and movies too am i allowed to I talk think, i think no not right now <laughs> shut up just... colonizer <laughs> 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 you know what i'm saying you on twitter at VFU Podcast. So you can find them. You can find them. So check one, two. This is Flavor Flav. Yeah, boy. Okay. What Flav was trying to say is check out Voice from the Underground on your favorite podcast network. Voice from the Underground. And there you go. That's that's uh, part three. Part three in the book. Part 3 Homer Sash's Mini Marathon I'm loving doing this, it's different We've never done anything like this We kind of had the, the Road to Infinity Wars But this is completely different um, I, I like doing this But yeah, so again David Friedman Thank you so much for coming on, on the podcast We kind of got it done at short notice But he was like, yep, I'm free tonight We can go tonight And I was like, right, we'll do it tonight so we did it, and we got it done The man is absolutely brilliant he, The passion and the energy coming from that man during the interview i hope i hope you can sense it he is massively excited for this movie to come out and for everyone to see it so excited and i don't blame him because my god it's taken four and a half to five years to get this thing made george wilcox wrote that amazing script and it's taken all this time for mark to to get it done and to get the money and to push forward and to and now we have a finished project a finished product it's it's going to start hitting the masses soon you're all going to get it and i can't wait to see what you all think of it we're going to push it as much as humanly possible and yeah as david friedman said countless times just go out and watch it just get it done let's see what what we can do and let's shine a light on on the the topics that it brings up the the homelessness let's shine a light on that um, it needs to be. We we kind of just bury our head in the sands and walk past it every single day, but we shouldn't. 
it's something that we need to address. And the the domestic violence, I mean, I think it's like one in three families are victims of domestic violence or something like that. So that's like, an, that is mental to think that. And, and that's what's going on behind closed doors. Like, that is crazy. But yeah, um, I cannot speak highly enough for, for going to see this. I'm super excited. It's got an amazing cast. Jason Fleming's in there. Lou Temple's in there. Hector Bateman's in there. Um, Dean Maskell, just what a cast this is. This is an un- Angela Dixon, man. Angela Dixon, I've seen her in a couple of things now. Never Let Go, loved her in that. Absolutely loved her in that. Black Sight, we got to see her doing her business on set. With, and like Actually set visit for that, and she was so good. Um, yeah, Homeless Ashes. Keep an ear out for the next episode, and we will soon be telling you what we thought of it. Which, um, I'm assuming it's... It's going to be all good things. Yeah.